All right, well, meantime, the annual corn short course of the Georgia Corn Growers Association was held at the UGA Tifton Campus and Conference Center recently. Yeah, and as Mark Wildman reports, last year was a banner year for one Georgia corn grower who set a national yield record. Farmers filled the auditorium at the UGA Tifton Campus Conference Center to hear all of the latest information on how to improve production from their corn fields. This corn short course featured speakers that are experts in fighting diseases, eliminating pests, and managing fertilizer cost. Uh, this is a real very important meeting for the corn growers because we've got a lot of new technology coming along, a lot of new herbicides and new fungicides, which in today's world in the corn is real important to control disease. Like last year we had a, the worst rust outbreak in 15 years in the state which really cost a lot of yield. We had growers that was, was making 200 better bushels every year. And last year, you know, they was down to 150, 160 bushels because of the disease. And these new fungicides coming along and the, the test results that the Corn Commission has sponsored for the researchers here at the university to, to show us how to use these new fungicides is really paying off to, to make better yields. And speaking of yields, Georgia got some national attention this year when Brooks County farmer Randy Dowdy set a national corn yield record in the irrigated class. He measured 503.7 bushels per acre in his field. I'm humbled by it. We didn't really see it coming. We knew we had some good potential. We knew we had a good crop, but we just didn't see 500. I knew that we were going to be in the 400s uh, from V10 to R4. The weather really cooperated and had a great season. And how does that yield measure up to Georgia's average? I mean, when you think that the state average yields in Georgia is roughly 100, runs between 170 and 175 bushels on a per acre basis. And then under irrigation, you know, typically we have people that, that are producing 240, 270, uh, 300 bushels. So to literally double that is quite a feat. It quite, it's an incredible amount of work uh, and science behind it. With lower commodity prices and pressures from other inputs, farmers have to boost their yields to make sure their farming operations stay profitable. It's all about return on investment. So the more bushels you have to sell, uh, potentially the more money you can make. And our cost per bushel this year was $2.63, so that was a good deal. When new records are set by someone in your own state, it can end up helping other farmers as well. It makes people ask how and why and then those conversations can start and you begin to see what, the, what, are, what are the potentials on your own farm just to improve a little bit and when you see if it can, you know when it's done and understand that it was done in the same environment that you were growing corn and you, maybe you were growing 250 bushels 260 bushels well what did you do what else did he do and so uh, those conversations are taking place all year long. Those conversations will take place not only this year, but next year. And they're taking place not only here in Georgia, but all across the country. Those conversations should certainly mention all of the hard work farmers and researchers are doing in Georgia to boost the corn industry. I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.